Hello, I know I haven't done a video in a while. Finally found time to get around to doing another review. Today I did want to take a look at The Stuff, the 1985 film by Larry Cohen. It was released by New World Pictures, later distributed by uh, Anchor Bay Entertainment for DVD. It's probably not one of the better films I've ever seen. I've always seen the poster around. It looked really interesting. I always thought it was going to be a great movie. The whole premise just sounds like it would be a good movie, but I don't know. Maybe it's just one of those films I watched during a bout of insomnia, so I really didn't get too much out of it. So basically the film does open up. We have these two guys. They stumble upon this stuff leaking out of the ground, and one of them decides, well, there's stuff coming out of the ground. I'm going to eat it. And he winds up liking it, so they market it as, or they sell it, and it's marketed as the stuff which we later discover is some sort of a uh, parasite which I guess consumes you from the inside, which goes just fine with the tagline, are you eating it or is it eating you? And honestly, I think this is just a whole um, social statement on consumerism. If something's pushed or marketed well enough, people just go nuts over it, you can't get enough over it. It, it basically does consume you or it becomes your life. So we do have these um, failing ice cream companies who are losing out to this stuff and a David Moe is hired uh, sort of to find out what's in it, uh, try to bring down the company, figure out what it is that's going on, why is it so successful, how can it be duplicated, yada yada. He obviously discovers what this nonsense really is and he also stumbles across a little boy who made headlines for uh, destroying a supermarket display, discouraging people from eating this stuff. Uh, so Jason is basically held captive by his own family uh, because one night he saw it crawling around in the fridge. He tries to warn them. They obviously disbelieve him, continue eating it, and basically just become sort of uh, drones or just shells of who they used to be. Eventually, the family does resort to punishing him or trying to force him to eat this nonsense. Uh, David Moe eventually does track him down. He manages to rescue the boy just right as he's literally being chased out of the house by his psychotic family. And they just sort of take on this investigation together. They discover that this company um, that is marketing the stuff is using the guise of using this to end world hunger when really it's, I, I don't know if it's alien or not, I consider it alien being, but they're basically just trying to take over the world. Um, obviously aliens are always looking for new food sources, so that makes sense. They eventually do team up with uh, Colonel Gromit, who is basically just running somewhat of an underground militia, so together they take down the corporation, basically just blow it to smithereens and we assume that's the end of it. I mean, like I said, it does sound like a very interesting film. I mean, to me it sounded interesting. I thought it was going to be a lot better. Um, I was just pretty much bored with it. I was dying for it to be over. I really did want to like it, um, but obviously that did not work out. So some interesting factoids, obviously stand-ins for this stuff were actually just haagen ice cream, which is an awesome gig if you were, were an actor on that film. Um, maybe not the yogurt so much if you're not a health nut, but that was also one of the uh, substances used for this stuff. And in one of the more uh, widely known scenes where the stuff is breaking through a uh, hotel wall, that's actually just fire extinguisher foam. But the thing that really got my interest about this one scene is that it's the exact same rotating room that was used in the original Nightmare on Elm Street, the same scene where uh, Glenn or Johnny Depp's character is just basically spat back out of his bed into a gush of blood. Uh, so, and I've always loved that scene, so that definitely does take it up a notch, just knowing that it's the exact same rotating room. That is pretty much all I have for you guys today. I hope to see you again sometime soon, and I will talk to you later.